have a little chat with you guys and just update you guys on what's going on, <laughs> what's been happening. Uh, so hi, hello, welcome, settle in, I'm so glad you're here. It's so nice to just sit down and have a little chat with you guys. I'm currently in my dorm room at my summer job in Michigan, which explains the change of scenery. There's my bed. <laughs> I've been here for a little over a month now, and it's really, really nice. It's an arts camp, and I work as a house manager, which basically means that I help out with performances, like I'm the person who unlocks the doors and turns on the lights and sets up the barricades and tells people where to put their bags and their coats and stuff and just make sure that everything goes smoothly uh, in the audience during, during the performances. I'm not currently working a whole lot, but I think it'll start picking up soon. Um, after the camp ends, there will be a handful of like big name road shows coming through and performing, and I think that's probably going to be pretty hectic. So I'm already bracing myself for that, but I'm excited. But yeah, even though things are slow right now, I'm really enjoying being here. It's an absolutely beautiful campus, and it's really, really nice to be up north and away from the summer heat. Me and heat do not mix at all. I'll keep my sweaters, thanks. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this year's Discover. Um, I had a lot of fun with it, but man, it was exhausting. <laughs> I took a week off of it when I got here just so I could get settled in. But other than that, I hit my goal of making a video every weekday in June. It ended up being 17 videos in total, so go me. <laughs> and then I took a big break from making videos and now I'm back-ish, we will see. I'm a little tired, but also I have a lot of ideas, so I'm excited to get back into it. Just a quick little promo, my lovely friend Lauren has an EP coming out at the end of this month. It's called Lifetime, and I play strings in one of the songs. I'll leave the link to pre-save it in the description, please go click it if you feel so inclined. I'm really excited for it, and if you like my music, then you will like this, I promise. You'll love it. Okay, that's all. Moving on. So I'm not really sure what comes next in the way of big projects for me. Um, I was thinking about re-recording Overture, but I don't know. Maybe it's better to just let my earliest creations exist as they are. Like, I, that's the way I put them out into the world and maybe they're just done. I know when I cringe, it means I've grown, but I don't know, it's hard. I really want to polish my older stuff up, you know, but maybe I should just let it rest. It's done. <laughs> Also, if I re-recorded Overture, I think I would want to edit Dear Diary a bit too, and that just seems way more involved than it needs to be. But I kind of regret releasing Dear Diary as one big project. I honestly don't think I'm at the point production-wise where I should be like putting out 12-track albums at once. I'm not sure. <laughs> I feel like I should be sticking to shorter releases, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Would you rather see like shorter EPs and stuff from me, or are the are the longer albums fun? I'm, I'm not really sure what kind of content I should be giving y'all, or if you even have a preference, but feel free to let me know uh, if you do or if you don't have a preference. I just, I want to know. <laughs> I don't know, maybe the concept of albums is dead. Maybe I should just suck it up and roll with what's working commercially these days, which is just like releasing a single like every couple months and then compiling them as an EP every like five singles or so, I don't know. It's a weird world out there. I wish I knew more about the industry parts of it. Like all I know is make cool sounds and put them together on computer. And after that, it's just guesswork for me. <laughs> I do my best, but geez. Anyway, I also have a lot of music that I don't think I wanna put on streaming services like Spotify and Apple Music, like the, like the covers I've made over the past year or so. Um, They've been sitting in my SoundCloud for a while, but SoundCloud only allows for so many minutes of music to be uploaded under a free account, you know? So I'm thinking of putting all my miscellaneous stuff into Bandcamp. I don't really have any experience with Bandcamp, um, so I'll let you guys know once I have more of an actual game plan. <laughs> but as of right now, the plan is to release an album on Bandcamp like every few weeks or so and just keep y'all updated on when they're out. I think I'm gonna keep it pretty low-key, but just Keep an eye out for that, I guess. Also, as far as future stuff goes, I really, really, really want to start working on getting new music out there. Um, I've written most of a potential third album, maybe, um, but I can't really record it until I get home in August. And even then, I think I want to make demos of everything first and then put it all on YouTube so I can like have a draft to listen to 
and decide what kind of vibe I want to settle on for the final versions. But I'm excited. A lot of these songs are songs that I wrote for Dear Diary, but I just couldn't figure out how to do them justice at the time, so I hope I can figure it out this time around. But then again, a lot of the songs are also completely new. It's a nice mix, I think, and I'm really excited to make it, and I'm really excited for you to hear it. So, more on that in a handful of months, probably. Also, I think I'll be starting college again this fall. I was only taking a couple of classes in the spring, so I'm really excited to get back into it. And honestly, I don't know a lot of the details yet, so I'll keep you updated. But yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to the future. I think this next year is going to be good. I'm going back to school. I'll hopefully have a little money saved up from this job. I have a lot of music stuff to look forward to. The world is slowly recovering. Um, I have tickets to see Dodie in the spring, so that's fun. It's all gonna be fun, it's gonna be great. But yeah, I think that's just about all I have in the way of things that have happened since I sat down and talked with you last. So let me know what you're looking forward to. I mean, I don't wanna be the only one talking here. I love hearing from you all. I hope you're doing well. I hope your summer's really nice and you have plenty of things you're excited for. Thanks for listening to me ramble. And take care of yourself, please.